Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Taramap and this is going to be one of the fun videos to make. So this is going to be a tarot haul and I have met this one person online. Her name is Victoria um, and she lives in the States. Uh, she's definitely interested in like spiritual side of the beauty she works with. Um, she works with sound healing as well. She wrote me she has a lot of uh, sound, uh, like the Tibetan bowls, one coming from 17th century as well. So oh, I would love to experience that. And you know, sometimes when you meet people, you have a kind of constant connection to them. And also for some reason, you feel like you meant to be in their life in this particular moment in time. So that's how it kind of started with Victoria. We got in touch and she purchased one little wand from me. And then she appro approached me and asked if we can do maybe a swap for some tarot decks. And she would love to get the life purpose reading that I offer in my shops. And uh, I sent her another wand as well because she was just the most generous person, so I received two parcels from her. So one, this huge, huge parcel, and also another small one. So I'm pretty sure that she's gifted me more than uh, what we bargained for, you know. But um, let's just get into it and see what's in that huge box. I kind of know about probably the deck or two decks that I think they in here but what else is in here I have no idea oh my god there's like there's heaps of stuff in here Victoria but let's see what's in here oh my god because I'm you know so this exciting this is the pairing tarot oh, this is something that I was like so excited about so this comes from Giordano Berti and his decks are apparently if I watch the jolly jolly old tarot channel and he's got like amazing uh, walkthroughs the decks uh, so I would love to oh, I just love this box so I you know I never had any of his decks so I just want to see how these decks feel I know what he meant. They do have some form of texture to them. So this is not this limited edition, but it's this amazing, amazing traditional tarot deck. And this is actually by Claudio Perrin. And it was a deck um, created in Torino in 1865. So it's a historical deck. And you can see that they use some a fascinating technique of um, printing because it's like the it all the faces have this like dots on them, and the coloring is very strange as well. It feels great in the hands because the cards have a little bit of texture. So I'm not going to show you all of the cards, but just a few more. And these beautiful bags. Oh, I'm excited. I'm going to do a proper maybe um, show off of these decks when I get a better camera. But it's a Tarot de Marseille um, deck. So this is exciting. I When I saw this uh, Tarot uh, reviews online, I love that uh, night in this deck because they very kind of funky like d'artagnan type of french dudes <laughs> okay wow so that's great victoria can you see how excited i am it feels seriously like christmas during october so the box also is really beautiful love it uh, another deck that she sent me before in another box there was this um Vachetta Tarot and this is handmade by Il Menegolo and it's Giovanni Vachetta and it's a deck that um, comes from 1890 or 63 and this is by Il Menegolo the bags I do have there is also the mass media version of it from Los Carabillo and it's called Tarot of the Master 
with the green borders which you can chop off and then you get the beautiful tarot deck as well but this one is obviously pretty amazing the coloring it's really warm for a los carabio usually the decks are kind of a bit more muted but this one is so gorgeous so again like so excited i never thought you know i'm going to own this deck because i had the mass produced version i probably wouldn't have purchased this one but uh, victoria was just so graceful she's definitely sent me way too much but yeah so this deck is gorgeous so that's the uh, Los, uh, il menegelo the vachetta taro inaibi di giovanni vachetta and then what else do we have here oh i'm excited about this the darkness of light tarot thank you so much for putting it in um and this is like 7 the july 18th i think or i never had this deck i saw it online obviously i never i wasn't sure how it looks so these are the bags and it's this darkness of light tarot you can um i think the next edition is already available to purchase i'm definitely going to sit with this one it's actually very beautiful the artwork and the oh, here is the full it got lost between the emperor and the hierophant or oh, maybe it's on purpose and the hierophant the lovers it's actually really beautiful Il Caro. i didn't expect it to be that beautiful in the camera doesn't do it justice to be honest so again not all the cards i'm going to show you a little bit more um when i change the camera view and you know you will be able to see uh, more of the cards from the better point of view but it's Rider Waite Smith based, so there's some nudity. Beautiful female bodies, just enjoy. Stunning. Wow, I'm excited about this one. Oh, and it's good timing also because it's, you know, kind of getting darker here in Europe. So, Darkness of Light Tarot, wow, that's pretty special. Jesus, what else is that? Oh, this is the one that I thought. That's what I wanted originally to swap for. And how lucky I am. And then Victoria was just like, oh, maybe you want something else. Tell me what else you want. And then I just told her. Basically, she offered me some amazing decks for swap. I kind of wanted all of them, really. Uh, so this is... a. a limited edition of 900 and it's an art oh, this paper oh my god so these are the bags this definitely deserves uh, like a proper video Aneka Aneka from nobody here has an awesome reviews of this deck uh, Balthazar from um, uh, Conjure I'm going to link his channel below as well I forgot now the name uh, but he has a, a very cool uh, review of this deck and I think Jolly Old Tarot as well so I'm going to link three of those below so you can take a look but that paper, the cards are huge if this is the regular, um, you know, the regular tarot deck we're talking like big difference so like huge as even bigger than Oracle huge and it's very artistic. It's a very unique deck. I think it will be... It reminds me a little bit of the Tarot of the Third Millennium just because of the very specific black and white majors. I want to show you just a few of those. So these are black and white. And I want to specifically show you the Justice. And I want to see the Justice. So this is also the Hermit. It's beautiful. I want to see the Justice card because she just seemed so kind of grandma-like and so beautiful, soft, but also, you know, taking no shit. I love her. So 
so gorgeous. I haven't seen actually justice like this. You know, I love justice when it's kind of empowered. And um, so, yeah, these are the majors. Oh, the devil is pretty funky. And then we also have the minus. And the minus are color coded, so you get yellow, blue, pink, I remember pink for swords, and green for pentacles. And it has this weird, quick crack creature like creatures in them. So I don't know, I'll see if I can read, use this deck for readings. Probably I won't, but um, I definitely will be using it for my own tarot exploration that I do every day. So there will be plenty of chances. So this is swans and then we have this cups in blue, very gorgeous. And there's a lot of male um, kind of figures in this deck, which is stunning because usually we get a lot of females, so why not? I think for all my male uh, tarot readers, that's quite a funky deck. And then we have this gorgeous two of swords. So swords are pink. And I remember Balthazar asking, uh, Chad asking that, like, you know, he didn't expect pink, but to me, it seems like, you know, the drops of blood, like <laughs> with swords, you know, you might lose blood because it's, you know, it's sharp and it can hurt and you can bleed, my friend. So uh, that's how I'm going to see that pink. And then pentacles are green and gorgeous and amazing. It's a really beautiful deck and it's made by um, Bogumił Bogusławski, so it's a Polish, uh, Radomiu, sorry, Radomiu Bogusławski. It's a Pol Polish accent to that, and it's called Okuli, Okultati Taro. So it's amazing. I'm so excited about this one. Thank you, Victoria, you made me a happy girl. So oh, that's, that's cool. I'm so lucky. So then, oh my god, I didn't expect this. She also sent me the dream reading, dream time reading cards by Laura Bowen. And this is fascinating because I actually received as a gift from my dear friend Pei the salt, uh, salt water reading cards. And this is the first deck from Laura. And you know how that I lived in Australia for many years, and this is like my soul. Uh, spiritual home kind of I would call it and um, I love this country I love all my time I spend there um, I have Australian citizenship so you know I feel a little bit Australian by choice <laughs> and so yes this is like kind of you know always and whatever I see which is specific to Australia it definitely brings me like a special special connection and special feeling inside it's like getting in touch with you know your home and so also I um, got from um, Victoria this vision of the muse deck and I have the lioness oracle tarot which I love and this is actually you know first of all I thought like oh it's only 33 cards so it's not many cards it's uh, the same size as the lioness oracle tarot it's the same style so it's a college deck and I thought, oh, it's not as maybe bright and kind of stunning like the tarot deck. But the more I use it, actually, and I have used it a few times now um, since I got it. I got I used it in readings for people as well. I think it works really well. So as an oracle, I think it works very cool with tarot. And I'm going to uh, show maybe more of the cards later on as well. But... It's pretty beautiful and the box has David Bowie in it and there is a David Bowie up here as well. So it comes with the little booklet, very simple. You just get um, alphabetical keywords and little descriptions. But with the Lioness Oracle Tarot, if you have it, it works very well. So there's also this deck. I have no idea what it is. And let's just see. It's wrapped beautifully. Uh, 
Oh, this how is, is she psychic? You know, I didn't want to be like, oh, I like this one and I like this one, because <laughs> she really sent me this list of the decks I can pick from. So I picked one in the beginning, and she's like, oh no, no, pick more. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I didn't want to pick everything. But I thought about those story cards. Um, I haven't, you know, I've seen it on Ethany's channel, I think. And um, I've had a few people talking about them. Uh, but they like this little oracle deck called the Story Cards by Kathy Nichols. And they oracle cards to guide your way, tell your stories and inspire inner wisdom. And, you know, she hand painted them. They beautiful artwork, kind of uh, dreamy. So there is a little keyword on them and uh, just simple, you know, gorgeous like pieces of artwork. You can see that they all had texture, you know, in the originals. And so there's duality. Grove. And as the name suggests, they are story cards. So um, we can hopefully, you know, <laughs> this is so cool, create stories with them. That's like Nine of Swords or Eight of Swords. Rooted. Rooted yet not unmovable. That's cool. So opportunity. So yes, I'm going to show you more of these later on and if you're particularly interested in any deck from what i showed you because that's it and that's like more than enough i'm seriously like so touched thank you so much and it's bloody exciting <laughs> i'm excited it's like christmas better than christmas it's like tarot christmas so wow i scored like so many amazing decks and thank you so much victoria um i'm hoping that our exchange was okay for you and you know thank you for everything you know for what else and um i speak to you soon guys because i do have one more deck that i ordered myself this time and this is the tarot the marseille tarot um the arcs no what is it tarot <laughs> anyway exactly that i'm going to make a special uh, opening and walkthrough of this video soon with a better camera i'm excited about this one but i think i want to open it first and just have a little play so that i can actually share with you something of substance not just show you more cards but yes i'm going to play now. Bye everybody!